So welcome back to the channel of One Triple M here. In today's video, we're gonna talk about audio sync issues on your Fire Stick. If you're dealing with annoying audio delays on your Fire Stick, whether you're streaming a movie or watching live TV, out of sync audio, for me at least, it really kills the experience. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to fix audio delays using AV Sync Tune and Prime Video Casting. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell, let's go. Hi right, guys, so like I said, this is gonna work for your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, Fire TV Television, your Fire TV Pro Max, all versions of Fire Stick, this should work. So we're gonna have a couple different fixes and the first one is gonna be the main fix for your lip sync issues. Now first up is gonna be your AV Sync Tuning Tool. This is built right into your Fire TV Stick, but I find that a lot of folks really forget about it or really just disregard this fix. So in order to get to it, we're gonna go to our settings, We're gonna go down to display and sounds. We're gonna go down to audio. And if you go to the bottom, you'll see your AV sync tune. And um, this is pretty straightforward. So let me kind of show you what's happening here. So with this, this is gonna be pretty straightforward. You're gonna use your Fire Stick remotes left and right buttons to adjust the slider until the ball bounces and flash and sound are all perfectly in sync. Now once it looks like everything's right, just select OK and you're all set. So basically, you can see I'm moving this right here. Kind of slows down and then you can go all the way up. Speed it up a little bit. So you can see the difference there, guys. So I think for me, the sweet spot is about right here. So I can go down there, I can click apply. So for me, I can go ahead and hit apply. So you can see for me, the sweet spot is about right there. I hit apply then it's all set. So like I said, play with this. This should be your primary fix. However, if you're having additional issues, we can jump over to the Prime Video Casting toggle. Let's go ahead and check that out. So the next one is gonna be casting. Sometimes you run into issues where simply flipping a setting on and off again should fix the issue. And this one is gonna be specifically matter casting. It used to be Prime Video Casting, but it's kind of like the same thing um, as far as just troubleshooting that setting. So, so in order to just toggle this on and off, you're gonna to go to your settings. You're gonna go back to display and sounds. And now we're gonna go down to matter casting. So again, matter casting just allows you to cast your video from Prime Video or other compatible apps to your Fi TV stick, works really well. But in order to troubleshoot this specific settings, you're gonna go ahead and just toggle it on. You gotta wait a couple seconds, maybe even a minute just to be safe. And then just go ahead and turn it back on. Like I said, sometimes that's the fix, not all the time, but definitely wanted to just put this in there just in case this is the fix that works for you. And the last couple settings are sometimes overlooked, but these are common fixes that you should try anyway. So the first one is to restart your Fi TV stick. Pretty straightforward, you can go to your settings. Go to my Fire TV. You do have the option there to restart it. Sometimes a simple restart does fix these issues. Um, other thing is you wanna check for software updates. Again, pretty straightforward. You're gonna to go to My Fire TV, go to About, then you can check for your updates there. Sometimes Amazon pushes fixes, patches, as well as software updates just to kind of help with some of these known issues. Other things you can do is inspect your HMI or optical cable that produces audio. So um, you can adjust your surround sound settings. Again, if we go back to your sounds and display, go down to audio. Now you do have some surround settings right here that you can play with. So you have best available, or if you know specifically what you're running, you can go to PCM, you can go to Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Digital, so you do have those options again. So again, sometimes just avoiding that best available might be causing an issue. If you know what you're running, you can simply just put it there and it should 
automatically apply that setting and that should be better for the system if you know exactly what you're running so there you have it guys couple ways to fix your audio display if this helps you be sure to hit the thumbs up on this video if this didn't help and something else did drop it in the comments that way we can help each other of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one